Hi, thanks for coming to China Law Translate. I wanted to make a brief video to introduce you to some of the basic features of the site so that you can get started translating as soon as possible. First thing I'm going to show you is down here by my cursor, you can see that there's a sign-in area. Uh, this will allow other users and the site to find you, know what you've translated, and contact you directly. If you'd prefer to be anonymous, you can simply not sign in. I'm already signed in, and that's why I have my little icon here. Yours will appear once you've done so. Uh, now I'm going to open an article. I'm going to open this Administrative Health Law, uh, Ministry of Health Food Safety Emergency Response Plan, and we'll take a look at that. Now it's opened into a partial English translation because my computer is default set to English. If your computer was set to Chinese, it will open to that. If you want to switch languages, you can do it over here at this menu, uh, where right now we only have English and Chinese to choose from, and it will switch between them. Um, Next, we'll show that directly under that is the translator mode. When you click on that, it turns a nice green. Uh, and it will take a second to reload the page as it will reload the translation database. This is the best way to read, probably, because it lets you hover over these little dots that have appeared at the end of each translation segment. And it will display the original version of the language. Now, places where that it hasn't been translated yet are still just showing up in the original language until someone comes and translates it. That's why it has a purple dot, is because no one has yet translated it. They turn green once a person has translated it. And occasionally you'll see an orange dot, which means that a computer has translated but that no human has yet confirmed that it's a good translation. And you can see it looks like at the top of this one, there was a lot of translation work done. And then towards the bottom, it sort of peters out. And there's a lot left to be translated. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to open up a uh, article here by clicking on the little dot after it. And you can see that this one here is quite short, but if it were longer, I could make that window longer by dragging downwards on this little corner. And the original language will always be up top, whether it be Chinese or English, and the translation will be down below. You want to make sure that the language bar up here that we talked about earlier is set to the destination language, the language you're translating into, the bottom language in the translation panel. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete the existing translation, just to show you that you can hit these Google and Bing buttons to bring up what those websites would suggest you translate into. When you've made a translation that you're happy with, and it could be anything, I will put uh, happy, happy implementation as my translation. You can hit this go to next segment button to move on. And you can put this to go back. And you can move around that way. If you just want to translate the one section, uh, this check bar would light up. You hit that, and then you can leave. Um, I'm going to show you, though, by leaving this translation panel right now, that it really does change it for everybody. Uh, all the users of the site will now see happy, happy implementation as the translation, which is wrong. So you want to be a bit responsible, especially if you're changing somebody else's previous translation. Now I'm going to hit the View Translation log, which is going to show me the record of translations for this segment. And you can see that I originally had translated it to this, and then I changed it to Happy Happy Implementation re more recently. And I can undo that translation uh, and put it back to the way it was. You want to make sure that if you're undoing something that you exit without saving, because the wrong translation is still in the box below. And now it's back to the way it was. Uh, that's essentially it for translation. You can just keep going through as many articles as you can. You can translate a piece of a, of a segment, and that will be uh, fine. It will leave the rest in Chinese. Um, if you want to print it out, you have to come out of translator mode, or it will be garbled. Now, if you've already translated something and you want to submit it to our site for us to put up, I'm happy to have you do that, and you can do it through the Contact Us button. Um, do remember just that you need to only submit us things that you have the right to authorize people to use and modify as they wish. Uh, so if it's your original translation and you hold the rights to it, please feel free to let us use it and understand that you're giving up those rights. If it's not your work and it's somebody else's, don't send it to me. I'm just going to have to take it down if they complain. Uh, just to quickly look at the Contact Us button. You'll see that inside there's a form where you can leave us any kind of feedback, and you can also upload files for us to enter onto the site and share with others. So up top it asks for your name, your email, type of comment, an area to leave a comment.
from it, and here is a form to select files and upload something for us. That's it. Thanks.